So for this next problem, what I'd like to do is take a look at a uh, phenomenon in genetics that we call penetrance. And so Mendelian genetics lays out the way traits are inherited from one generation to the next. But in Mendel's peas, he was it was very serendipitous in the way he picked his peas because they were they showed their traits in a completely dominant fashion for the most part, and uh, and so we were able to really easily track green peas versus yellow peas or round peas versus wrinkled peas, um, and uh, but which allowed for understanding the way a trait is inherited, but what has been discovered since Mendel's work has was has gained popularity and we now understand a lot more about genetics is that once you inherit the trait the genes for a trait manifesting that trait or going from genotype to phenotype is a little bit different and that there is often um, other factors that can play get involved in determining the um, whether a trait manifests itself if even if you have the alleles for that particular trait and so the problem that we're going to look at today is uh, looks at this a phenomenon called penetrance in which some traits even though the individual has inherited the genes for the trait it doesn't necessarily mean that they have uh, that they are going to actually manifest the trait and when this happens we say that the that the trait is incompletely penetrant and we can calculate the the, to what degree that gene is penetrant or how likely if you receive the genes for the particular trait will you actually have the trait and so in this problem that we see here that it talks of um, club foot as a common um, uh, congenital skeletal abnormality worldwide one in a thousand births um, or, or have a club foot um, it's known that both genetic and non-genetic factors are involved in that and uh, and so in this particular article that's cited here by Garnett et al., they identify a family that has club foot that's inherited in an autosomal dominant way. And because of the fact that it's inherited in an autosomal, they, by the mode or the way that it, uh, the, uh, how it's passed from within that family, we can determine that it's autosomal dominant. But we also know that there, this, the mutation responsible for this gene is um or the mutation responsible for this trait is in the gene the pitxi gene and that particular variants of that will cause club foot so they do dna testing in this family and uh and that they find that 12 people in the family carry this particular mutation but only eight of these people have club foot and so 12 people have the gene for club foot but only eight of them actually have the club, have club foot so this would trait would be considered incompletely dominant or uh, incompletely penetrant and we can determine um, what the penetrance of this trait would be by calculating the num the percentage of individuals that have the trait and the gene versus those that have the gene um, in total and so the way we would do that is uh, so what is the genetic term that describes individuals with the same genotype that do not exhibit the same phenotype? We would call this incomplete penetrance. And what is the penetrance of the PITXI mutation in this family? And this would be 8 divided by 12 which for the sake of 8 divided by 12 is 0 .0, 0 0.67. 0 0.67, that would be the proportion, which is equal to 67% penetrant. Now assume that now this is uh, so that's just how you calculate penetrance and so we can because whether or not you actually manifest the trait is independent from whether or not you inherit the genes for the trait we can consider the we can predict the probability in a given 
mating of, between individuals, we can predict the probability of what's the likelihood of the child having the particular trait. And so here we have another example where we have uh, long earlobes in human as an autosomal dominant trait that exhibits 30% penetrance. And so a person that's heterozygous for the long earlobes mates with a person who is homozygous normal earlobes. What's the probability that their child will have long earlobes? So to calculate this, what we're going to do is we're already told what the penetrance for the trait is, which is 30% or 0.3. And then, so what we need to do is we need to first determine what the probability that this child will actually receive the genes for the trait, in this case, long earlobes. And then what's the probability that the child will actually have long earlobes, which will then factor in the, um, the probability of penetrance. And so to calculate this, if so if we say that the person that's heterozygous for long earlobes, so we'll give L, big L, this is a dominant trait, so big L with anything is going to give us long earlobes. And so little L with little L would be normal earlobes. And so the parents of this child is, we're told is heterozygous for long earlobes, so big L with a little l, mates with a person that's homozygous normal. So, little l. Okay, so what we can do is we can just set up a Punnett square to, to visually see our probabilities here. So we don't know, on one side we have the gametes for one parent, on the other side we have the gametes for the other parent. Capital L, little l, capital L, little l. A little L, a little L. So there's a one half or 50% chance that this individual will have the genes for long earlobes. There's a one half or 50% chance that the child will have normal earlobes. So now, what is the probability that the first child will have long earlobes? Well, that's saying, what is the probability that they receive the gene for long earlobes and that those that gene is penetrant or actually manifests itself? And so we can take this probability of 50%, and we can say 50% chance of having long earlobes, we can, which is the same as saying 0 0.5, times... 30%, which is equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.3 equals 0 0.15, or equals to 15% chance. So this trait is incompletely penetrant, where 30% of the time it is actually penetrant. And so the likelihood that this child from this particular couple will receive the gene for long earlobes is 50%. 50% times the penetrance of 30% gives us a total of 15 percent and so that's a pretty si simple straightforward uh, way that, uh, that we can calculate out uh, penetrance within a family and work out probabilities using our um, mendelian inheritance combined with this notion of uh, penetrance as well